I mean, the best, most secretive location ever. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait. Hello, and welcome back to The Hunt. If you missed previous episodes, the playlist link in the description down below. Highly recommend that you check those episodes out or you're going to be completely lost. If you guys want to see the unedited versions of these episodes, $2 a month gets you there. Subscribe and turn on notification icon to be notified whenever the next Hunt video goes live. Uh, we are going to be building a base today. And where we're building that base is right here. So a few, I don't even know if you guys could find the episode where it was, was it me, Boomer and Christian and everybody discovered this here little cave thing? Is that a wolf over there? Sweet Jesus, this area stinks. Um, We discovered this little kind of tube going on here. I gotta get, that is a mountain lion. That is not a wolf. That is much meaner. So we're gonna stay away from that way until we get safe, but we're gonna be building a base here. Um, I'm really hoping that that animal goes away. I have gone ahead and increased the total number of zombies on the map from 64 to 100, which should ultimately, <gasps> it's a works, working cement mixer, working cement mixer. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that this is here. This is like right next to my base too. I can actually make it out of concrete and pretty much force them not being, like they literally won't be able to like break in. It would take them way too long. So that's hilarious. All right, that being said, let's just clear some houses to start. We're really just looking for a pistol. We're on game stage six now. So we have a higher chance at actually getting a real weapon instead of a bunch of Haba Balooey. We have a little bit of loot in that little uh, area over here to the left. So, you know, we'll head back over there if we find a gun and we'll have plenty of ammo. Our goal for today is to establish that base and get started on crafting. Ooh, the one hitter, quitter. And get started on crafting our mini bike, which is our ultimate objective. Hello, zombie. Hug it up. Nope, oh, careful. Oh God. I might start blasting. I walked in and I started blasting. Okay, that did nothing. That did nothing. What? Come on. I got an ADS. ADS is better. Boom. Done. Much better. There we go. Probably going to take about two. This could be really loud and obnoxious. Uh, and they could probably hear me while I'm doing this. But also, I've been told that this will actually take the magazine attachment by a comment from the previous episode. I appreciate that, my guy. Carly will go ahead and pop you up on the screen somewhere. But I'm just going to break in right here because this seems like the most convenient location. Hello, zombies. All right, I need to repair this. Do I have what I need? I do. Epic. Awesome. Because I need to sneak my way through here to make it easier. There's something wrong with your roof. There's some snow in your house. Hello? You gonna fit? Ooh, that's a zombie, right? I was gonna say it didn't look like a zombie, but I forgot that they updated the way the crawlers look. Hello? And now that the zombie is increased, the zombie number is increased, more than likely, we'll be able to level up much quicker because there'll be a lot more zombies. This is why we wanted to repair our bow. Yeet! Is there one in here too? No? Probably shouldn't have used a metal air. Oh, there is. Dangerous. See ya. Hello, I've came to repair your roof. Do you need help? It's. It, it looks like you require assistance with your roof. But that may just be, you know, maybe you like it like that. It's kind of like an open concept, meaning an open roof, maybe? Maybe that's what they were going for. I'm so rude, I'm sorry. I'm not here to fix your roof. I'm here to kill your zombies. There's an infestation issue here. And uh, it's my job to clean it up. Oh, oh my God. I was going to say, I... okay, we're just going to eat those painkillers real quick. I was going to say, thank God that was your landmine. And here we are stepping on landmines. I'm assuming the loot is down here somewhere. I'm just going to use the blunderbuss to clear quickly. Reloading while moving is the worst with the blunderbuss. So we got to distance ourselves and then reload. But we're definitely seeing a lot more zombies this time around. I'm really glad I changed that setting. It can cause some issues with the server but you, and uh, lower your FPS. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think more zombies, less FPS sounds fine with me. That's a good trade-off. Oh, vending machine. We should remember that these are here. 
because covert cats would be really good for pvp and food and water excess is really nice too what we got going on here scrap that scrap this some clothes are always nice we need more clothes this is bad this is real bad oh my god this is real bad this is really bad did he die oh my gosh are you just gonna refuse to die is that your plan there we go one to the heart you're too late you gave love a bad name in a partially royal video without some terrible singing do 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 Oh gosh, well, they all woke up. Nice. That was what I was anticipating. Perfect, beautiful. One down. Two down. Loving the blunderbuss. Wish I had the uh, ammo attachment. We'll definitely do that before we clear the next place, because being able to have two shots in this thing would be wonderful. It is so bad at hip firing. You'd think the blunderbuss would be better at hip firing, right? Not worse. Hole in the ground, hole in the ground. Looking like a fool with the hole in the ground. What is going on here? So that's really where the loot is? Right below all this? Okay, that was easy. That's nice though. Give me a gun. Okay, you know, I mean, okay. Um, stone spear? I might use... Nah, nah. Let's break these open, see what's gonna happen. No guns yet. I guess we're not at the right game stage to start finding them. So we'll wait till it ticks up. I'm not gonna be using lights. Level 3 axe, heck yeah. Take the modifier of the old one, put it on this one. Ooh. See? Now that's scary, because I don't know... I think, like I said, I think they're required to be close to me in order for an airdrop to pop in. I don't see them going for an airdrop, but I'm unsure. It's a little scary to me. We're not eating Meow Mix. I do not care about leather gloves. And now we need to dig out. See how close the airdrop is? I just don't want to go over there due to mountain lines and stuff. It's a little scary. It's 480 meters away, so if it disappears off our map, I think it means they grabbed it. I'm not sure, though. I don't think that really means it, because they were saying, oh, how was that airdrop? And I'm like, I didn't go. Oh, God. Jesus, that thing is just still encroaching on us, man. I hate this. I hate it so much. Let me see if I can hit it with an arrow from all the way out here. Because I need to get over there and start building. I need to be able to put some chests down because we are we got inventory room issues. God dang it. It's in the trees somewhere. I don't see the mountain lion. All right, there he is. Could we get maybe on top of the sign and kill it? Let's try that. And yeet. And yeet too. A little low. Just aim a little higher. Stop moving. There we go. Hit it. Perfect. And then we can easily take it out from up here. Okay, if I wasn't an absolute potato. Why is it firing to the right only? There we go. Headshot. Easy. Don't start eating my frames, though. I'm going to have a hard time getting down if you eat my frames. Real hard time. Please ignore the frames. Yes. Eat, yes. Eat the sign. Eat the metal sign. Perfect. Yes. Cats love metal. I've heard. This reminds me of the previous episode where we sat there and killed a uh, a wolf just like this from on top of the roof. It's going to take quite a few hits. <sighs> oh my god, I almost fell. I fall into that as GG. Is it running because it's almost dead? I'm confused. Do, do they run away? Is this arc? <sighs> okay, geez. If this thing sneaks up on me, just because the AI decided to change its mind on how it functions, I'm going to be angry. I'm going to be very upset. Well, let's clear out our base real quick. There's actually zombies. Oh my gosh. There's zombies that spawned underneath in this tube. 
So we need to clear out the zombies. Place down some storage containers. And like I said, I want to reinforce it with uh with some good some good old concrete. Let me go ahead and just a quick junk drop off so we can have some movement speed while we kill these dang zombies. Movement speed is very nice. All right, beautiful. All right, let's wake up the crowd. Hi. Just one of you in here? Oh, usually there's like two or three. Oh, into a hole with a bear in it. I don't remember that part. Come here, zombie. Come here. See this hole right here? There's a friend down there. He wants to give you cookies. He wants to give you cookies. Let's see if we can blast him back into the hole. Ah, uh, almost. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear, but you're just going to have to chill down there for now. Maybe I should just leave this here. I should totally just leave this here. I'm just going to leave the bear and I'm going to leave the hole and I'll just cover it up with frames so we don't fall in it. And if they ever find my base, they'll uh, they'll come meet whatever the bear's name. What should we name the bear? Give me a comment down below what the name of the bear should be. Because, you know, he's, he's chilling like a villain. We're in game stage seven now. I wonder if this box has a chance of having a hidden stash. And is it worth opening on game stage 7 or should we wait? Now that's the question. I'm just going to open it just because I'm a doo-doo head. Hidden stash. With dog crap in it. And we should have waited. Haha, <laughs> here we are. Alright, let's clean up our nice little working area. And what would be really awesome is if I could rig this place to explode. I could put TNT around and like string it down like a strip with like a trap door. And I flip open the trap door, I shoot the TNT, and it blows up. But I don't think you can do that. I think you need C4 for that. Because new TNT you just throw, you don't place and shoot. So maybe that's not going to happen. Feels bad, man. All right, we're going to put most of our crafting materials here in this bin. We'll go ahead and put our ammo and things. We're going to scrap that. Ammo, money, important things, that type that type of stuff. And then just excess food, water, drinks, and that type of stuff in here. Grab the rest of our junk outside. And we're just going to run back over to our church location to grab all that excess ammo and other things that we left behind in the previous episode but then we have a storage to work from and then all we have to do is get a workbench going which do i need to level up for the workbench that's my question i don't think so we have one point available though uh and i need to learn it for forge which i'm just going to double check what we need for the forge which is advanced engineering so now we can do the forge and i'm pretty sure the workbench can be done during advanced engineering too. So we are going to have to kill some zombies and level up a little bit more. Nothing crazy. But we have to do that anyway. To obviously get loot, get guns, and increase our game stage as much as we possibly can. So we can get even more loot. Better loot, that is. Because I still don't have a regular gun. We're also going to need an extra wrench. I have a hammer. I would like to have an extra hammer if possible. My water's been going for quite a bit now. So we should have lots of water. I'm going to turn this off just so it's not a location that uh, they run by and hear the fire. And this is the extended mag that you commented about, and it doesn't actually work. But the sawed off part works, which increases its damage one per pellet. So that's not too bad, actually. I'm a bit sad that you lied to me. Carly, you can now retract the previous comment that you edited it in. Just, just exit out. All right, I got my house marked on the map. Let's bring all this stuff back, and then we're just going to clear in a grid pattern. We'll probably start with these residentials, work our way through these places, and then get to the strip malls eventually. We've already gone to here. Absolutely useless. And we've looted the churches as well. So, you know, we've already got a good chunk of the snow biome done. But uh, obviously, we want to loot it as much as we possibly can to level up just a tad bit more. I can keep up to see where they're at level-wise, and we're dead even. So even with shared XP, they're still not doing you know much better than me which is nice hello there mr bear i'm sorry i don't have a name for you yet we'll have a name in a couple of episodes 
I do apologize. All right, so I'm going to keep a stack of water with me, and then I'm going to bring charred meat, eggs, and a golden rod just in case things go sour. Other than that, this seems like a decent inventory. I'm just going to need a few rocks to make a few more arrows to get some stealth kills. My dogs are barking because my new VR headset just arrived. Wow. Heck yeah. I'm down. Get to play some VR games. Have a whole bunch of fun. But I have to create a Facebook account. So yuck. Looty, looty, shooty, shooty. That is what time it is. Oh god. False floor. False floor. False floor. False floor. False floors almost always get me. I don't know how. I don't remember which houses have false floors. But here we are. We're just going to try to rapid clear with the blunderbuss as much as we can. Just because it makes it a lot easier for us if we can loot. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's your arm. There's your head. Okay. Sometimes it gets gets a little sketchy. I left my bandages at home. Oh, God. Um, yeah, yeet. Just going to quickly... Do this. We do not want to be in a situation where we don't have bandages. Goodbye. Wow, you're alive. Thank you. Much better. Ooh, you're hiding ammo. Ooh, another blunderbuss too. I saw that zombie's head through the wall. I don't think that's the way this game's supposed to work. Is that zombie in the wall? Are we okay? Are we all right there, Nurse Joy? Are we doing okay? Where is she? What the heck? Well, it's bringing us down into the creepy basement. See if we can find some warm clothing. Nope. Nope. Look, a weapon bag behind this little thing here. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's see if it's got a weapon. Oh, gosh darn it, man. Get rid of this crap. I need... Ooh, is, if that's a working workbench, that is capital C clutch. And it's destroyed. Well, you know, we got the, we got the, we got the, uh, nice, the nice, uh, nice, uh, what's it called? Cement mixer. So at the very least, and we got actually an engine, which is something that we need. So beautiful. We're, this is a really good house to come into. You are hungry. Gosh. This feels like a trap. Oh, this is where you're supposed to fall when you walk in. Okay, so this is technically where I'm supposed to loot first. And then we follow the lights. Yep, there we go. Always follow the lights if you don't know where you're supposed to go. And that could be deep and sentimental, or that could be about video games. For all of you people out there that need to hear it. I still... Ooh, wrench. Beautiful. I still have the feeling that my first pistol will be a toilet pistol. Hello, goodbye. See you later, alligator. Um. Well, that door's locked. The scientist boy's not hiding anything. Dogs are still barking. Well, I mean, we got the blueprint for a pistol, so we could craft one. Oh, God. Maybe I shouldn't have just zoomed up the ladder. That's fine, though. I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. That zombie is like, got such a small hitbox. Makes it difficult sometimes to headshot him. Yep, and then he runs after. Why is it always him? He's always a runner. Stay down. Thank you. We need a metal pipe to repair this gun. Okay, we have some of those at home. Ooh, water purifier. That's actually a really good find. This allows us to drink, uh, like, bad water and purifies all chances of getting any type of disease from drinks. So, heck yeah. I knew there'd be zombies in here somewhere. Scientist zombie. Just gonna close the door on you while I reload. Open up. Hello, knock, knock. It me. Whoa, that made no noise. Mm, okay, that was a bug for sure. It's actually a good find. I was mentioning last episode that I needed to find some medical supplies. Wow, we got antibiotics. That's clutch. Gunpowder. <gasps> okay, well, we have the greatest build location on planet earth by the way um so so far we don't have to craft a chem bench we don't have to craft we have a vending machine we don't have to make a cement mixer and our base is right here i mean 
the best, most secretive location ever. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait. And more blunder buses. We're not going to wear scrap armor because I want to make sure we have movement speed. I'll go ahead and swap these out just so I don't have to use a pipe to repair. And we're good to go. Beautiful. All right, that was really good loot. Wow. Like excellent loot, actually. We got another hammer. We got a another wrench. Um, and then once we level up, which we're getting really close, we just need to uh, get this workbench going. So let's just bring back what we got and let's try to get maybe can we do one more building before tonight? I really need to get the forge going. So maybe we'll just do that instead of going to another building. That way we're prepared for next episode where we'll kill some zombies. We'll level up. We'll craft our workbench and we'll definitely get the mini bike next, next episode if all goes well. All right. So what do we need for the forge? Let's get that going. Small stone, clay soil, leather, duct tape, short pipes. Duct tape might be the issue, but we have cloth and glue. So never mind. It is not an issue. Three duct tape, three short iron pipes, stone, leather, and clay soil. We have the shovel on us to collect more clay. Gather it from a location that doesn't really give away anything about our base. We only need about 60, so we're not going to hit for too long. And then stone. And bada bing bada boom, Mr. Forge is being crafted. And I also need to consider how I'm going to do hoard here. Um, well, probably, I mean, we just have a tube. So it's not hard to just get zombies to line up and start spamming them down if we find a gun by then. So I'm not too worried. Maybe even like depending on how long we survive and avoid contact with the uh, people hunting, Boomer and Christian, uh, uh, we might be able to get like blade traps and things set up. That would be wild if I could set some actual traps. Can you you can craft false floors now, right? I don't know if you can. Are there trap floors? Loose boards. Ah, so we could easily build traps with nails and wood hmm so we could put loose boards here again and put like blade traps down there and like pressure plates that turn them on that'd be wild forge acquired let's go ahead and place you right there we actually already have an anvil which is super nice Boop. and we have a little bit of wood i don't have like crazy amounts of wood uh, there is some coal in the area, though, from what I saw. 28 minutes, and then we can get all of our iron going. And we also need to get some extra clay and just really start stacking that up. Probably just gather it from right here. Try not to make it too obvious, but... I mean, if they come over here anyway, they're going to go right to the tube, but they're not going to go for... They're not going to see a little bit of clay missing from the side of a hill. But let's go check on them in the nightly check-in. Uh, hello there. Hello. You mama. Get out. I'm supposed I'm supposed to be here. Just making sure you guys are doing okay. I need I need I need I need a little bit of lunch. Uh, I need my diaper change. I need a sponge bath. I'm hungry. Sounds like you have a lot of issues on your hands, Christian. I'm hungry. What, you, you nightly checking. Are you not my nurse? Do I, what is what am I hearing outside? Oh god. Hey, I'm coming for that no, we're good. We're good. It's just my pet. No problem. Where you at, dog? Huh? Where you at? Where you at? Uh, in the town. Wow, cool. Very dark. Very dark in a town. Wow, I know exactly where you are. So what? What have you? Christian, you see that? Do you guys have like priority? Do you? What are you guys doing? What are you guys up to? Are you, what are you crafting? You looting? You shooting? You leveling? What are you? I can see that. I can see that you guys are a level ahead of me, which is making me mildly sad. Yeah, yeah you know why? You know why? why? We're elite gamers. We are pros, um, some would say. It's because yeah. you have shared XP, but okay. Some would say we are pros. What's and, shared XP? and more zombies spawn on you. So, did you guys grab that airdrop? No. We never saw it. Never saw an airdrop. Okay, so you're not near an airdrop. Just got information without you even knowing. <laughs> no oh, problem. You can have it. You, 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 I mean, let's be honest. You need Literally, all the help you can get. Good to us, mm, so. I think you guys you need, need all, all the help, help you can get. I can't wait for you to get six cans of sham and a med kit. Damn. A med kit's really nice, actually. That'd be a damn shame if we didn't have so many already. You don't have any. Liar. Uh, I have something yeah. better that you guys will never oh. have. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. You want to enlighten us? He doesn't have a name yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, oh God. Oh God. Okay. Oh God. Mm, it'd be a damn shame. Oh God, I'm not reloaded. Yeah. Oh god. Come in, Come in here real quick. Come in here real quick. Are we 
good? Take that. Okay. Take that fall. We're good. We're good. Oh, I got it. Thank you guys for stopping by today's episode. Again, if you did enjoy, please leave a like. Check out the playlist links in the description down below. And of course, you're beautiful. Peace out.